Hi everyone. Today we continue our course about Azure Container Applications. For that, we are going to add to our old architecture. We are going to add a new item, which is Azure Key Vault, in order to store keys and secrets. In today's demo, we are going to use the MVC frontend application to show those secrets. But we are not only going to show secrets. Also, we are going to see secrets inside Azure Container Apps and environment variables too and Azure Key Vault. For that, let's start by creating or adding a new Azure Key Vault service that we are going to connect it to our Azure Container Apps. Let's start by giving a name to our Key Vault, a unique name, choosing the region, and I will store this Azure Key Vault in the same resource group where I have my Azure Container applications. Let's give it a name. Okay, keyboard demo France 002. I will go with the standard plan and I will keep everything like that. Okay, and I will use for this demo the vault access policy. And later demos, we will use Azure role based access control. As you can see here, by default, my user go get uh, this um, access policies and we can activate it for other resources too i will allow for the demo also access to this key vault from all network but we can also for best practice select some networks only or disable access only from private endpoints and we will create our key vault great now our key vault is being created. Awesome. Let's wait a few seconds. It shouldn't take that much longer. And the key vault is something very necessary in any project in order to save keys and secrets. Okay, so here we have our Key vault have been created, and what we need to do actually right now is to go to our uh, Azure Container app and enable identity in order to give access to uh, our application in order to list the secrets from inside the Azure Key Vault. For that, I already have done this, but I will show you from where. Just here, we got identity and set it on. I will copy the object ID of our application i will go to um, access policy access configuration sorry and for the access policy i will select um, only get list and set for this application i don't need uh, anything more i will put that object id and next as you can see we have our application here and i'm going to add a secret here i will add it manually so i will give it a name I will give, uh, let me paste this as your secrets. And for the value, let me, um, let me write hello, or maybe let me copy paste just the URI for my channel, YouTube channel. This is, will be our secret. Okay. As you can see, and it's good practice to give stall activation date and expiration date and be enabled. Okay, so here we have our secret already. And we are going to see how to use this with our application as your app container apps and our application. So let's go uh, to our um, app containers. Uh, inside secrets here, from Azure Containers Apps, I'm going to reference that secret from the Key Vault. So I will give it uh, just a name. I will keep the same name that I have used for the secret. And here we should use the reference for that key, that uh, that secret that we have saved. So we copy this, paste it here. And for managed identity, I will use system assigned identity since I have activated identity for that Azure application. Okay, great. This will be updated. And here inside secrets, uh, secrets, by the way, can be shared between all containers. 
So the secrets can be shared between all containers. Environment variables can only live inside a container and, uh, and cannot be shared between containers. Let's wait a few seconds for the secrets to be updated. As I said, in Azure Container Apps, environment variables are not designed for storage sensitive information. They exist within the container scopes and can be shared between multiple containers. On the other hand, Azure Container Apps have future for securely storing sensitive information, call it secrets that we have used right now. As you can see here, I'm going to edit uh, my container and I'm going to add um, a new uh, as you can see here, I have already an environment variable and I'm going to add a new one that will refer to that secrets that I have uh, saved inside of the secrets. I can choose here reference and from the key vault. So the secrets live in the application scope and can be shared between the containers. Additionally, for a specialized and more secure solution, Azure Key Vault service is recommended for storing secrets and keys, making it a good choice for share keys between multiple applications. So here, as you can see, I have modified a bit our application in order to um, view the um, environment variable that we have saved and the secret from the Key Vault too. I will share this application source code later. I will put the link uh, below the documentation or below the YouTube video. So what I will do right now is just I will uh, build this project since I have modified and I will just um, publish, uh, tag it and publish it. Okay. And let's tag and push this solution. I have made a mistake. Okay. Let's push. Okay, using the latest tag. Okay, let's go back to our container and let's edit uh, this container in order to um, choose the new image that I have uh, created right now. Because I did, I did create a new image, I, will, I did this and we are going to have another revision. We will talk about the revision in another video. So here, as you can see, the latest, and I have two values inside environment variable. Okay, secrets and Azure locations. Great. So this is the secrets that I'm going to use. And now I just need to create um, this container. Okay, this will take a few seconds. We will wait for this to be created and to see if we can see the environment variable that we have created and also the secrets that we have created from the key vault. As you can see, one have worked and the other one not yet. So the backend URL, I set up that in inside the Azure environment, uh, uh, sorry, inside the environment variables and the secrets should be from inside the uh, secrets. I think I made a mistake and I forgot to update the variable name inside uh, the environment variables. Let's wait for this to be deployed. Okay, it's been deployed and I think this Azure secrets should be secrets because here I'm trying to get an environment variable named secrets and not Azure secrets. So I will update this inside um, inside so inside the Azure Container app and I will rename that environment variable to Azure Secrets. Like that, it will be working smoothly. So let's update this, save. Yes, it's from the key vault. Okay, let's wait for the deployment of the new revision. It way and I, right now I think it will be working. 
as you can see here, we are reading our secret from the key vault on the left and the one that contain backend URL, we are reading this from the environment variables. So this is the environment variable that we have used. So the environment variable live inside the containers and cannot be shared between containers, but the secrets here uh, on the left secrets can be shared between our containers. So this is what we have seen. And in the next part, what are we going to see is managed identity. We will use it with Azure Container Registry. Thank you, and I hope you liked this demo.